on. Now, Colleen, let's get down to business. Oh. What exactly do you think it takes to be a loose woman? How very rude, Miss Brackles. But firstly, top of the list for any loose lady is her sense of sophistication and style, an ability to remain ladylike at all times. I wasn't drunk that night, I, I'm, I'm proud to say. Vouch for that. Oh, guess who was? Snow White. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, absolutely. So drunk, right? I'm going to tell you this and she's going to oh, tell me off. But she was so drunk, she flashed her knickers at everybody. <laughs> Something had to give. So it was smoking or, or drinking. drinking, smoking or drinking. I thought, well, smoking, just stop it. Because I wasn't going to stop okay. drinking because I quite like a glass of wine. I don't know if you <laughs> no. know. <laughs> well, then, you know, we, we're eating all day, drinking all day. Well, not drinking alcohol because obviously I've given that up now. And um, <coughs> I know there's just no stopping me. In fact, I'm that boring now. I, I'm boring oh, myself. But you see, that's the trouble. Do you not find when you don't have a drink, you have something to eat instead? Well, so. yeah, you see, that's what I'm doing now. I'm thinking I've got all those calories spared now. So, <laughs> God forbid I should actually try and a bit away. <laughs> I think they'll put another pie in my mouth, why not? <laughs> well, I am quite flexible, actually, and one of my party pieces in the old days, after a few drinks, oh, was I used to put my, uh, my legs behind my head. No, just as a piece of... <laughs> nothing too. rude about it. Yes. You can do it now? No. Well, I'd have to have a why few not? drinks to do it. No, because I've got the wrong trousers on. Don't start. <laughs> and I have to warm up, but a little bird tells me you might be. Well, I, I can put one leg behind my head like that, but like I can't do it right now because these jeans are so tight. I can't. I can't. I'll try it. If you can see how tight these jeans are, they really are too tight. Oh my goodness. Well, probably ogled in a in a gang, and there's nothing more intimidating, I don't think, oh. for a man to be ogled at a group of going, yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah, you get off, oh. you know, because I think we're quite she scary. Yeah. I probably did when I was at, at, at college, oh. university. Oh. Law. I was trying to make myself look intelligent. Really quite common. Um, um, when punk rock came in, I was like right out there with the bin bags and gobbing on people, you know. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, people gobbed on me too. <laughs> a lovely restaurant I've never been there before where they had um, live opera singers like right on the floor next to you and violinists and it was like being sort of it was amazing it was How fantastic. annoying no it was great <laughs> being serenaded by these fabulous voices helped the red wine go down yeah. but I did get to that point where I thought if I have one more this is going to be a How long and glasses? messy four yeah, four <laughs> this is going to be oh, I'm, a, I'm a lightweight yes now total now and i must say people do kind of recoil from you and it gets boring if you felt you know, say, would you like a drink no thank you oh are you not well no i'm fine don't you drink no i don't oh okay <laughs> but you used to have a reputation for liking drinking. a drink didn't yes, you yes no i love drinking and i was one of my main concerns about giving up was i thought oh you know i think there is definitely people associate, well, why in, in all the sketches, in all the plays, you know, hello, my dear, would you like a glass of something? And you're supposed to drop your knickers straight away. Sorry, I'm not allowed to say that. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? Drink frees you up, doesn't it? So if you're not going to be freed up, what are you going to do? But I've found that Mr. Spade and I are very free. <laughs> I'm trying to train myself to, to recognise that moment. <laughs> and, yeah, me and Jane had about three drinks, didn't we? Yeah. And then I went on um, for dinner with my friends at a very nice restaurant, had two bottles. Yeah. Not, not just me. <laughs> no, no, there were three of us. So right. it wasn't that bad. But mm. I was sitting there and I, I was thinking, ooh, that's it, this is the moment. This is the moment when I really should go home. And I'm sitting there thinking, oh, I wish one of them would say, let's get another bottle. So I just go, yeah! We were in the pub the other night just for a change, <laughs> and uh, and she doesn't feel like she does, and we I love her for that. Yes, I she had. had one. Not a bottle, bottle. Yes, I know I was there. No, I hadn't. Um, and um, you you have a voice that is sort of loud. You no. Know. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> You're dying for it, a pint, are you? I am. Eight, oh, 18 days. 18 days. That's rubbish. I know. Are you an alcoholic? Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know. Not if you're an alcoholic, that's good, I think. Yeah. But 18 days, just for, you know, a friendly drinker, it's rubbish. Yeah, well, I'm a bit of a social, maybe borderline alcoholic. If I drank a bottle of wine, honestly, they'd, they'd be carting me off. Mm. Because, I, I mean, two, two glasses and I, I really cheap day.
never felt ill, never got hangovers, and was a drunk, really. Well, yeah. you, you did go on benders, though, didn't you? Yes, two or three days Day. I'd go yeah. on. Oh. Yeah. See, I That's a bender. That. Yours is more of a curl. <laughs> I don't know what time I got home. I think it was about one, two, three, I don't know. Don't know, I don't know. But, um, Your excuse. How, no. are you, how are you feeling this morning? Well, pretty shocking, actually. Um, and I'm not normally late for work. Yeah. I have... Well, Is that why the been... book it's here? <laughs> <laughs> I feel okay. But I, I was woken up by, by the, the driver ringing the door. Um, did I miss any bad behaviour? Well, I, I was a bit naughty, actually, yes. Um, apparently, I'd flashed my pants at the, um, at the photographers that were standing outside. And um, I, I think, I, yeah, I did a little snog with a, with a half-decent-looking bloke, actually. Yay! If it's in, if it's in, drink it. <laughs> <laughs> a bargain. <laughs> if my drinks are included, it is within my rights to drink my own body weight. <laughs> I mean, I swear like a trooper, but I swear with people that I'm comfortable with that, that I know for a long time, I wouldn't... You know, if I walked into a room, even if I walk into a room and within ten minutes of walking in there's a woman standing there who's swearing loudly, I just immediately think, oh, nice lady. But it's all right mm. if there's a bloke standing there well, swearing like a trooper. because you expect blokes to be common, horrible pigs, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> What are you doing there? And she went, um, she went, oh, Carol, honestly, you just blow off all night, you do. <laughs> so this is why I can't share a bed with anybody. I can't do it. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, okay. A like a blanket lifter to me, don't she? Oh, I mean, that's got... not right. Well, don't you like that thing. like boys do. <laughs> I'm continuing now, children. <laughs> Carol? What? <laughs> I'm like with you now, I swear like a navvy. Oh, well, yeah, and she swears back. Oh, she does, she talks. I never swear. <gasps> well, I never swear on TV. <laughs> I haven't um, actually had a drink for 18 days now. <laughs> but the thing is, like, you know, I've got to stress, it's not, it's, not, it's not a big thing. It's not like, oh, I'm struggling with the booze and I'm giving it up. Mm. You know, I do intend to uh, not fall off the wagon this weekend, but I might jump off from a great height, you know, just to make up for a bit of lost time. But I don't know, I might not, I might not. How are you I'm, feeling? Are you feeling I'm any different? It. At all? I'm I don't enjoy it. Great, Have you enjoyed remembering nights out? Uh, yeah, know, <laughs> it is, it's great. It's really, really fantastic to go in and sort of you know, see your bedroom and actually see it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> To, you know, get your clothes off and put them in the cupboard and stuff like that. It's brilliant. Yeah, and also, not, you, and you've lost weight because you're not waking up to sort of kebab lettuce. Yeah, that's right. I'm not waking up with my face stuck in a kebab, which is really quite handy. It's always yeah. a bonus. Yeah, I it's find. nice. Well, <laughs> you drunk. You did. I was a bit. And it, because um, at the beginning of the show, they were giving the audience alcohol, weren't they? They were giving little glasses of wine for the lady and lager for the men. And we were going, where's ours? Mm. So as part of the show, he was bringing us drinks. Three bottles. No, it was four. <gasps> was it four? Four. You oh, see? I remember up to remember three. Albert. Well, I was drinking it as, it as it was coming. I remember at one point he says, what do you expect from a gentleman as a gentlemanly behaviour? Oh, no. <laughs> She's completely gone Snow White has left the building, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need to help me as well because, um, you know, I like a pint. I like to go down the pub with my blokey mates. You're do kidding. You, do you think... <laughs> do, you think really? do, you, do you think I should be a bit more ladylike? What do you think? No, no, no. I, I, I think you're perfect. Just the way you are. Yes, oh. yes, you're my kind of woman. Um, oh. But uh, if you want to get asked out by men... Well, I kind of do. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you might want to at least pretend to be a little more ladylike. 